Pat is with Florence Henderson, the singer-actress who is best loved as the Brady Bunch mom. She will star in the new series, The Brady's, that premieres on CBS tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. I am so happy to see you, and I want to congratulate you. Look at this, the little wedding band. You know, People Magazine, that was great. Wasn't that nice? Oh, yeah. and, and the letters to the editor, the follow-ups, mm -hmm. everybody was, they loved you. That, well, I'm a lovable guy. This, that, this. that looked like a very expensive wedding. Well, the expense is no object when you're... Did you pay for it? <laughs> <laughs> we, we sort of, everybody did. We all pitched the in. The bride's family and yeah. you did? Oh. They, these are bride's family. It's tough. They have three girls, so they're I they're know. Stuck. It's a great tradition, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I know. My daughter, my youngest daughter, just got married. Oh, yeah, so you went through the same cost deal. Cost a pretty penny. Yeah, indeed. But I'm glad you're wearing the ring. I think every married man should wear one and keep it on. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, well, I think it's a good idea. I mean, the woman does. Absolutely. So why shouldn't you? I think it's, I think it's, only, I think it's only fair. So what trouble are you going to get us in tonight? You always, you always Everything that I can. You always, you, know, you know, one thing we touched on last time you were here, a time before last year, we were talking about hypnosis because yes. you went through a period of, of stage fright. Stage fright and terrible fear of flying. Just, it just popped up in your life? Well, it, it, it was kind of a very insidious uh, thing. It, it happened kind of gradually. And I'd had a few bad experiences on airplanes, and uh, I just attached other fears to, to flying and to uh, my work. So and hypnosis helped? Oh, hypnosis yeah. helped me so quickly in like five or six sessions. Yeah. But you, you started to say something last time about being able to, to look at someone and tell how they would respond but to hypnosis. Remember like, like two shows ago, I told you about your, your sexual personality, okay? Yeah. Which is how you act out information that you've learned. Mm -hmm. And so I would have to know, to hypnotize you, I'd have to know your suggestibility, which is how you learn information. Yeah. Now, I would say just from, you know, this is off the top of my head, that you are, uh, as I told you, you're an emotional sexual, but you have physical suggestibility. Meaning? Meaning that, that you, uh, that's why you're creative, that's why you're able to come out and be on a talk show and talk. It means that, that uh, you talk about things better than you do them, like, like you probably talk a good game with sex better than you. <laughs> no. he, Who called no. for a Zoom on that? <laughs> uh, but, but it's on your face pad, so yeah, don't thank worry. Thank you very much. Um, the uh, Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, but, uh, uh, so how would this apply, how would you apply this when, when hypnosis comes about? Well, because it, it, that, that would tell me that, uh, for instance, how, how my stage fright came about, I am highly suggestible. I'm also a physical suggestible. So I am, am suggestible to almost everything mm -hmm. in the environment. Let's say that, that there were 10 of us standing on the corner and a bus went by and almost hit us. Okay. Uh, we all jumped back. Now, eight of the 10 might, might say, oh, well, the bus came kind of close. Two of us would go, oh my gosh, the bus almost killed me. And then we would become very frightened of buses. Ah. You know, ah. and so, how do you, so, so how do you get over that? Well, what I would do is, uh, I would hypnotize you, and then I would take you through that in hypnosis. You'd I would throw do me in front of a greyhound and, or something? <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. I'd throw you in front of a bus, yes, and uh, let it roll over you, and then I back up. No, no, oh. you're so sweet. Thank no you. No one much. would ever... Look at that face. Yeah, I know. No dimple. more Zooms, please. Now, uh, well... So, yeah, and, and that's what I would do. I would take you through that, and I would have you bring up those feelings. Uh, first, we'd have to find out if you had a fear or a phobia. And then I would bring up those feelings and have you, because if you created it, then you can uncreate it. Okay. You so, know, and then well, you can get rid of it. I don't think I have any phobias. I really don't. I mean, I, I don't think I have a strong fear of things. I mean, Dan Miller's not a phobia with well, you or, not, <laughs> or a fear? <laughs> not <laughs> counting Dan, I, I have No, I really don't. I, I, and a phobia would mean I would be almost paralyzed to inaction, right? If right. Were to, yeah. yeah, you just couldn't. Well, that's the way I was with flying. And then if you, if you add like a couple of incidents, I mean, I was on a flight once with my four children that it, within the one flight we had a hijacking threat and made a fourth landing in Denver and had to get off the flight and take everything. They had to get off the, the plane and take everything. And they went through all of our, our hand luggage and took my needlepoint scissors. And I said, I'm not, I wouldn't be the hijacker with these little tiny scissors. You look a little shady, frankly. Well, <laughs> uh, yes, I do. But then we got back on the plane and they took us to New York and then we got a bomb threat. This was all in one flight, and we had to make an emergency landing. This, uh, pilots tell me this is written up in all of their, their journals. We had to make an emergency landing. We reversed engines at 18,000 feet. 
This is all on one... All, all on, on one, one flight. How nice. And I had to take my kids off. They didn't even put down the emergency chute. They threw up a ladder. And we had to, you know, yeah. hand them to the I now have a phobia. Thank you very much. For, <laughs> now you're afraid for, of flying, aren't you? Tomorrow night is the, uh, is the Brady's, the, the, uh, the yes. premiere. That's exciting. You've had it's four decades the show has been... Yes, we started in 1969, and here we are in 1990. I can't believe the it. The show is on in syndication all over the world. Have you seen the foreign versions at all? I, I've seen a couple. It's pretty hilarious. You yeah. know, it's like the, uh, the German version. We sound so silly. Andy Davis sounds like a, a Nazi stormtrooper. <laughs> yeah, 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 you, uh, you know, yeah, right. all of that kind of thing. It's, it's we found very out, flattering. We've right? Actually, we found out one that you haven't seen, that you, you were anxious to see, was the Japanese. Yes, I've not seen version. that. And we, we've gotten hold of it. You uh, do? Let's see. Yeah. So this, this would be, and as a, as a scene, I don't know if you remember this episode, you're, you're, you're dressed as a cowboy, cowgirl, trying, uh, talking, to, uh, talking to your husband. I don't, I don't quite know the context. Who was dressed as a cowboy. He's kind of funny it's, that it's, way. It's Japanese, so <laughs> it doesn't matter what the context is. Doesn't. But here's a little uh, Brady a bunch oh, in the Japanese watch. We're going to be talking more about the show later on because in a, in a minute, Ann B. Davis is uh, coming on out and you're going to be joining us a little bit later in the show and, and we'll, uh, we'll just You're going to have Martha Quinn. Martha Quinn. It's just it's exciting stuff. Oh, yeah. It, it's going to be wonderful tomorrow yeah. night from 8 to 10 all right, on uh, CBS. All right. Thanks, Florence. Great well, Pat, I'll see you well, later now. Uh, just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting it. it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll uh, take a break and we'll be back. Stay with us. Brady, welcome her. Well, yes. I have this strange feeling I've moved into another planet. Somewhere. Yeah, we are. We we we'd like to get, make everyone feel that way, if Thank at all, you. <laughs> if at all possible. <laughs> Panic is setting in. Are you excited about this? Uh... Well, I am, but after your last two guests, I'm not sure. I'm I'm, I'm going to be very boring. No, I, no, I don't no. want to. No, you scare you with that. No, you won't be at all. I'm sure. Everybody, everybody knows you now. We talked with Florence about how this thing is played all over the, this thing. I'm sorry, the Brady Bunch is <laughs> yeah. played all over the world. Uh, do you get a sense of that? Do you travel yeah. much? Do people? I travel a great deal. Yeah. I mean, to be recognized on the street in Nairobi is that true? Can really clear your sinuses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's true. Absolutely. There, yeah. Sydney, Australia, every place I go. Now, what's your role? Uh, the, your your character is going to be a little bit different in this. Play because you're not you're a friend well, of the family yeah, rather I'm, I'm than still, yeah I'm a I'm a close friend of the family yeah which is uh, which is fine uh, I'm there I don't wear the uniform anymore I've had clothes to wear I don't believe it's wonderful I spent so many years in the uniform that's I right you were always in uniform always in uniform which yeah. makes it very easy to get ready in the morning you know I just you, choop, get ready that's it sure sure uh, but, uh, yeah I'm a friend of the family I'm in on all the excitement do you know uh, uh, the the actor who uh, portrayed uh, Sam. Oh, Alan? Uh, Alan Melvin. I, I, he's terrific, I think. And, and he's, yeah. he's one of those fellows that you probably look at him and say, who's, who's that? Oh, I've Not seen know his him. Name. I've seen him. But he's him, done yeah, thousands right. of, uh, yeah. of shows. Is he, is he yeah. part of this? Is he back well, as your love interest? or your? Well, we talk about See, I'm married to Sam. Yeah. I mean, love right. interest. Yes, I'm married to Sam. I have been since 1981 when we right. did the But Brady you will Ride. be in this as well. Uh, we talk about him. I yeah. hope he'll be in the show. Yeah. I understand his agent called the other day just checking it out to see if he was going to be in the show. We'll see. Yeah. I know hey, we talk about him a lot. Have you figured out, have you, have you, do you do much analyzing about why this show has, has hung around for so oh, long? Oh, yeah, mostly because I get asked so many times. Partly because when we shot it, way right back in uh, 69, 74, every other show on the air was all about slice of life, you know, and life was miserable and rotten and horrible and awful. Mm -hmm. And, you know, here we came on with nice kids, nice people that all did the nice things and never had a problem we couldn't solve in 23 and a half minutes. And that was, you know, that yeah. was nice. And then when we went into syndication and, you know, all the rerun stuff, uh, we were the only decent show to show at 3.30, you know, after school hours. And then suddenly there were 60 channels available and yeah. not enough software. Yeah. So we fell into that. It almost became bigger thing. in syndication than it was when it was when it was on the network. I well, mean, it's it, been it became 15 a, years more. Yeah, of it. well, that's, that's, <laughs> that's true. Another show, and I don't know how many people remember you from this because we're going back a little ways on this, but uh, we were very young at the time. If you're referring to the Bob Cummings the Bob Cummings show, show. Yeah. yeah, sure. Ah. Ah. <laughs> that was from 
55 to 60 yeah. and, uh, and went into reruns for a while. That was, that was kind of a, I, I want to say, racy show for its day. Oh, but for I mean, its day, I mean, my dear. You know, Bob I mean, was Bob always Cummings, chasing after a young, oh, young he chased gal. chased those girls, and you know what? What? If you got them in a corner, he kissed them. Ooh. Gasp, horrors. Well, in the 50s, that was, uh, that was major it was, stuff it was to be racy kissing on TV. Day. Yeah. yeah, for its day, it was pretty racy. Now, even an interesting commute, because you're not living out here. Yeah. No, I've been living in Denver for the last uh, 14 years now. Yeah. I've been living in a Christian community there, an extended family of Christian people. So, and so you, times, you like that life, and, and you're going to stay there despite well, the Yeah, uh, we're workload? actually, some of us are moving to Pennsylvania to start a new community because the Bishop Fry is becoming the dean of the seminary in Ambridge, Pennsylvania. That's another story. So you get, you but, get on a uh, bus every day and drive in? Or what, <laughs> what, what, how does that work? But the, uh, well... Hmm? Uh, how, I mean, when you, when, you have to, when you have to film, you just come out here and oh, stay yeah. out here? I mean, then? Stapleton, you know, Denver is two hours from Burbank. Yeah. 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 So, you don't miss, that hard to do. so you don't miss uh, old Hollywood and, and the glamour and the that, excitement and the that, drama? I did that Adventure? Already. You did? I did that already. Yeah. I mean, I was here when I was young and supple and ready to take on the world. And I, I did all of that stuff, and I did very nicely, thank you, and probably got as high as I had any right to get. And now I can relax and enjoy it. Well, good. I'm glad you are. Glad you are. And again, uh, it's uh, tomorrow night. The Bradys uh, get back on the air. and uh, yeah. uh, it, it, It's kind of fun because living with this extended family, I've lived with nuclear families, and they've had a lot. There have been nine kids involved that I've seen grow up and you know, mature and get married and have babies. And it's the same thing with the Brady Bunch. You, know, yeah. you go back, and this is like an extended family, and you want to see how they turned out. Yeah. Who did they marry? Well, we'll, fi we'll, right. find, out, uh, we'll find out tomorrow, yeah. and, uh, and we'll see you a little bit later on in this show. Ann B. Davis. Thank Thanks, Ann, very much for being here. Take a break. Drama Rama. Drama Rama. We'll see. With Martha Quinn, host of her own MTV show, and a new member of the Brady Bunch. You know, I, it just occurred to me as we're getting ready to go here. You probably you on MTV. You worked alone in the studio. And, I know, I know. And, Who are those people? They're our studio. They're friendly I'm folks. Sorry. They're nice folks. No, 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 no. They love you. They, they adore you. They want to be. Somebody did yell out from over there, "Hey, Martha!" So I feel a little bit more accepted. Yeah, you do the show. You do the MTV stuff in New York, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And people never come up to me with that, you know, hushed, revered tone and say, "Excuse me, Miss Quinn." People are always coming up to me saying, "Hey, Martha, listen." I really did not like that haircut you got. I, you, you should change it back, you know, yeah, yeah. no respect. Well, that's good. That means they care about you, I guess. That's what that means. Well, you were one of the original BJs, weren't yeah. you? One of the original uh, five the, or six or whatever it was? Uh, one of the original five MTV BJs. Can you name them? Oh, sure. You? Yeah. Okay, let me try. Mark Goodman? Yes. Um, Sally Jesse Raphael? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know. I don't know. Can this. anybody out there? Mark Goodman, me. Sneezy. <laughs> Who? J.J. Jackson. Sneezy, Dopey, and Grumpy. Alan Hunter and Nina Blackwood. Oh, okay. I should have remembered Nina and Alan as well. Anyway, yeah. you see, and then you, did you leave for a while and go back? Yes. Um, now you're hosting a show. Now I'm back with a show called Martha's Greatest Hits. Yeah. And it's real fun. It's yeah. really good. Did you really listen to K-Rock and say, I want Jama Rama on? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Does that make you cool? Yeah. Didn't expect that. Well, it's, it's it's hidden. It's hidden underneath the sweater. All of it. Uh, yeah, I, I, really. I, yeah. What was the last tape that you ever bought? The last tape. Uh, the last tape was uh, the new Morrissey. Oh. oh, the guy from the Smith. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Now that's very interesting. You find that interesting? Well, because the last tape that I bought was well, I bought the Jets. I bought Dwight Yoakam, and then I bought Woody Guthrie just to impress the guy behind the <laughs> counter. <laughs> you ever do that? I do that when I go to the I, gro grocery store. I don't want Pete. I don't want the check. I got to know what I'm doing exactly so if i buy like sauce and pasta and mushrooms i also buy like a deodorant to throw them off the track is that does that make me a sick human being i anyway? think we caved into peer pressure i think that's probably Bad. yeah what it is now were you a brady now we should explain your connection here to the brady's you are going to be you're going to be a mrs brady i am mrs bobby brady the little baby boy gets oh. married and i've got him girl yeah now <laughs> oh um, were you a Brady fan? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Did you know I all mean, these guys? I mean, I grew up in America, which is basically all it takes. Everybody watched the Bradys, and everybody has their favorite episode. You know, maybe when Greg took over the den and put the black light posters up. Oh, I see, I hear it. They're recognizing it. I when must have missed that one. When the got broken. Oh, or that the bass got broken? And Jan got braces. You know, yeah. every... And I find, no matter who <laughs> I speak with, you know, cab drivers in New York or 
anybody out here, everybody's got a favorite Brady thing or a favorite Brady. And it's like the great equalizer. It's the Brady bunch. Now, the guy you're marrying, were you a fan of his when oh, you were watching? Oh, yeah. Him? I think you tended to... I looked up to, like, Jan, because she was a little older, and I thought, and I have four brothers, so I thought, wouldn't it be neat if I had older sisters? But Bobby and I were always about the same age, and I used to always think, wow, and now Bobby you're Brady. You're marrying Bobby Brady. I know, oh, I know. gosh. Now, it's very exciting. Now they're all... And I saw my, the wedding pictures in Rolling Stone, and I said to my father, Dad, you may as well just go ahead and frame that one. <laughs> <laughs> that may be the only wedding picture I get. No, you think so? I hope not. I'm really? so jealous. Are you out there looking? Married. Are you... Right. Well, yes, I am. Are you really? Yeah. I can't, but you, you date, don't you? Yeah. 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 That would be a good way to meet a husband, yeah. I think. I'm not waiting for my parents to arrange it. Yeah, I don't, no one's going to pull up in a van. <laughs> you, know. you should, you actually should get out and meet people. But yeah. you do some of that. Yeah, you. I'm shy. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, maybe you'll meet some nice shy guy. I hope. No. <laughs> uh, now, uh, the, the, one of the differences, I think, of the show is that they're trying to do, I don't know, I want to say issues, but maybe be a little more serious. I know there's more dramatic side to this right. new, new Brady. What I think is happening with the Bradys is what they've done is maintain that very strong sense of family values and brought it into the 90s and incorporating, rather than, you know, Cindy has lost her doll, you know, and that's the big crisis of the show, it might be dealing with um, disability or something like that. And, but bringing with it the family issues. I mean, a lot of us didn't grow up in a family that for as long as Florence and Robert have stayed together, that actually stayed together. So it's, it's good to have out there. Yeah, that's true. Now, in fact, uh, your, uh, your husband-to-be is, right. is in, the, in the show is injured, right? Is that the yes. story? Yes. Um, Bobby and I met in college, and he decided to drop out of school and go You've really bought into this, haven't you? I am. I'm like, <laughs> but you know what? People say, oh, isn't it weird to go be on the, on the set? And you're an outsider, you don't know these people who've worked together for 20 years, but in fact, I feel like I grew up with them. So when I went on to the set, I felt like such an idiot because I saw like Sue also, I'm going, hi, Cindy. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So Bobby had an accident. This is yes, the thing. Bobby got into a car crash, yeah. and I saw the, his near fatal accident on TV and rushed to his side. All right, now we're going to see a scene. Is this where he proposes to you? Is that the, the story? I, Somebody I does the proposing. I'm not oh. sure. Uh, can I just say one thing while, yeah. while we watch this? Yeah. You know, I was debating what to wear today. Yeah. Because I didn't know, well, I'm Martha Quinn. I'm on MTV. Everybody knows that. But I'm on the Brady's. Like, so should I wear, like, a Brady outfit? But should I wear what? So here you'll see the Brady oh. side. Well, you made a nice choice here. And now, <laughs> now we'll see your Brady side. Uh, take a look from the Brady's, Martha Quinn. Bobby. I died when you were in that accident, and I wasn't alive again until I saw you. You know something? You were the last thing I thought about just before it happened. And I love you, Tracy. I love you, too. <laughs> what are we going to do about it? Don't ask me to get down on one knee. You're asking me what I think you're asking me. The answer is yes, Bobby Brady. Pretty sweet. Is that your first uh, on-screen kiss? No. No? My first on-screen kiss was on an episode of Fame. And does anybody remember the band Fear? The guys in drama run? <laughs> Probably will. Yeah. Leaving was the wild lead singer, and he was my first on screen kiss. Yeah, I bet. So, but that was a nice little He's kiss there. He's actually quite a good kisser. He's married to a lovely girl, Kelly, and she's pregnant with their first baby. Oh, good. And how was Bobby Brady's uh, kissing? Oh, that's what I was talking oh, about. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, <laughs> like, I was back with fear. I was from a, yeah. searching back in my memory bank the last time I was kissed to leave. No, I'm kidding. No, it was, it was a nice, it was a, sort of a Brady kiss. There were, it looked like no tongues, which was sort of, sort of nice. It was just so gentle. I don't know. Can you say that? They'll edit that out. Oh, right? they will. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. They'll we, edit I that out right now. I don't think you can say I'll tongues until at least 2 a.m. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, stick around because the rest of the gang is going to come out and uh, join us, and we'll uh, talk about some other stuff. Uh, Martha Quinn. Thanks, Martha. Thank you. You're right. They were not. Yeah, they were. Uh, we'll take a breath and be right back. <laughs> so are you. Yeah, I really are. Thanks, Dave. Dave Cause. Uh,
and we have the entire the, the only entire. That I ever really wanted to play. We, we were just one, he was so wonderful. Yay! Yeah. 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 Sorry, Pat. That's all right. Oh. Just take over if you like. Yeah. That's okay. okay. That's okay. You wanted to play that instrument? Oh, that was the only instrument, musical instrument, huh. that I really wanted you to play. You get a grant from the government because because for clarinet. <laughs> They do. They have saxophone, clarinet, they, do and they violin. the talents? No, no. <laughs> Only ten thousand dollars. Did you try? Did you try? No, I never got a chance. Just because by the time I, this was in grade school, and by the time I said yes, I'd like to learn how to play an instrument, the clarinet was gone. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what you, do you mean it was gone? Nine, nine Somebody else wanted it? to play clarinet. Oh, oh, I see. Now the government took it I, back. <laughs> I, I thought maybe you only had one in the house. Martha was asking about my musical taste and expressed some surprise at uh, some of the people. I'm just, I don't, I don't know about anyone. Like when you're just listening, you have a beautiful voice, oh. Florence, and you sing Thank beautifully. You, uh, but when you just, you just want to flip on the radio and listen to something, what kind of stuff? I love you? all kinds of music. I, I love rock music. I, I'm not a real heavy metal fan, but yeah. I love rock music. I love Bruce Springsteen. I love Dramarama. Uh, yeah. I love uh, classical music, yeah. uh, all kinds. I love Tom Scott and his band. Yeah. Don't, it actually always bothers me when I hear someone say, I don't like, and they pick a category of music, because I think there's something good uh, yeah. in almost any, any category. I agree, and it is the great communicator. Music is a language oh, that yeah. everyone understands. Yeah. I, I used to listen to nothing but, uh, but show tunes, and, and that, that Broadway, was, that was yeah. my big thing. I knew every lyric of every obscure verse. And every, Honey, uh, that's everything. Honey, everything. No, 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 no. Oh, Fanny, Fanny, oh, Fanny, oh, you Fanny. I just heard myself yeah, very badly. No. That that sounded painful <laughs> to, to all of us. No, uh, I listen to nothing but gospel stations. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, what about, Fanny, what about you, Mark? What, what do you, your your big ones are your ah. groups that you, are you allowed to are you oh, allowed to show favoritism ah, because you know you're on MTV? And you um, to... I would say right now I I've got Come Neil on, Young's <laughs> after the Gold Rush. <laughs> yeah. I just bought the Judd's Greatest Hits. And how about Randy well, Travis? I love he Randy <laughs> Travis. Oh, he's so... I love Randy Travis. Oh, this is... oh. Mrs. Brady is hipper than people know, don't, don't you? Oh. Don't you find that out? I don't know yeah. what you're she, says, she, she said she doesn't like real heavy metal, but I have a feeling that we're looking at a Def Leppard, maybe Van Halen fan. <laughs> I have been known to get down a time or two. Well, oh. you know. well, well we're, all, we're all pleased to hear that. Now, listen. Now, Mrs. Brady, I just yeah. wanted you to know some of the changes. Yeah, yeah, what? That I'm not spending as much time in the kitchen. Really? Yeah. Spending more time in the bedroom, right, Martha? Alice? Is that true? <laughs> well, you know, you... our house I, I'm, uh, has no bedroom. Your house on the show? <laughs> but you'll get one. You haven't been a Brady long enough. <laughs> well, we never did have a bedroom. I don't think it's legal to have sex with one of those Brady kids. I think the police will come right into the house and say, break it well, up. But Brady some of the changes are that, that huh. Mr. Brady and I are spending much more time in the bedroom. And I'm wearing wonderful, sexy nightgowns oh with a lot, of, a lot of cleavage. Did they, have, did they have rules about what you could wear? In the, you don't know what the, cleavage yeah. is, do you, Pat? <laughs> no. Yes, that's that, that's that, uh, that, I that's have that. some. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do, actually. I, I sometimes need a trainer bra myself. I, I, I used to be heavier, you know, and that's what really happened. You know, you know what you need is a muzzle. <laughs> He's kidding. Oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. But speaking of cleavage, uh, <laughs> did you were you allowed to show any of that uh, in the in, when you first uh, went on the air? No. I mean, oh no. I mean, were there rules? Oh yes, there were rules. You couldn't show cleavage. I mean, even on Ed Sullivan, you, if you wore a dress that was just cut fairly low, it would make you put netting in up to here. <laughs> Mrs. Brady show cleavage, but now she's showing cleavage. But, you know, I watched the very Brady Christmas, and there was definitely more of that. More. Remember I, that? Yeah. Kind of. I kind of didn't like it, because I never sort of relate to it. Well, you no, know, I love her. Like she's wearing a t-shirt with a color <laughs> off the hair. It's, but they're like my parents, you know, and you don't like to think for some reason of your parents having sex. How do you think you got here? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just can't imagine old you Nina. Know, Boy. You know, I'm going to have to have some talk. Yes, now. Uh, chat with your in-law here. And get, that, yeah. get that done. I, I don't know the answer to this question, so I'm taking a risk. Matt, tell the truth. It doesn't, I mean, they can all take it well. Were you a... Do you know anything about the Brady Bunch? Well, I know of the Brady Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, I was talking to Ann in the, in the room earlier. Uh, and what, what I, I remember almost every episode is the Bob Cummings show. I don't know, I think I was in overseas for, during the 70s, you know, and uh, when You're the Brady Bunch... <laughs> I, I, I think he was underwater. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, it, it's fascinating right. to, to, to hear all this. I didn't know, realize it was such a cult. 
You know, the, the, the no, Brady no, Project. They just keep going I know all of it. You know, I've seen you. clips, and I've certainly seen you all my life somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just, I, I just, we're, I'll tell you what, we have to take yeah. a break here, and then we'll unravel your legs. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Okay, stay there. It's, it's, it's time to say our goodnights, uh, oh, no. and uh, it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> we just got here. I, I, it seems like it just got here, but time flies. Eight o'clock tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. CBS. Channel two. CBS. It's here the old Brady spot, isn't it? Yes, it and is. that's oh, it actually a is. good yeah. omen. Thanks, Anne. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Florence. And Eight o'clock tomorrow Matt, night. Uh, you'll be watching. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch it. I swear. <laughs> thank you. Very much. Thank you. Say hi to Leslie. I will. Thanks a lot. Also, thanks to uh, Dan Miller. You okay, Dan? Well, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom Scott and Fancy and Drama Rama. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>